eucalyptus giant blue gum these are the eucalyptus trees that are recognized for being the giants in the tree world in California we have a lot of these giant eucalyptus trees and oftentimes these eucalyptus turn into groves they were imported over a hundred years ago into California and they reseed themselves everywhere and in some areas you have whole forests of eucalyptus trees that have become somewhat invasive they take over and overshadow all the other other trees and they become the uh, the dominant species and in many cases you have a situation that can develop a huge fire hazard now a few years back there was a, a huge fire in uh, the Oakland Hills and it was associated with the eucalyptus trees now the eucalyptus trees themselves are quite flammable but the reason they're so explosively flammable is the shedding bark that comes off the trees they're a type of tree that has what's known as an exfoliating bark every year it sheds its bark and puts on a new layer and that bark just hangs freely from the trees and piles up on the ground now in terms of kindling eucalyptus bark is my favorite kindling and uh, I, I love it for starting my fire but it's also uh, so volatile that it, it creates big problems so what we're doing on this job is creating a bit of a cleanup not only are we pruning out the major dead wood and cleaning up all the hanging bark off of these trees but as you can see at the base here, there's mountains and mountains of kindling waiting to explode. So we had to clean all that up. Now this job was quite a, quite a challenge, partly because it was so difficult to get to all the brush. I think we trimmed about 20 giant eucalyptus trees in there. And uh, it was much easier to get in there with the bobcat and uh, push the, the chipper in there. Here we're using the demo dozer bucket and it's got a nice attachment that we can put a ball hitch on there. That would have been a nightmare of a job if we couldn't have gotten the, the chipper to the brush. But uh, the, the cleanup really made a huge difference. We, we really transformed this whole area from what felt like an extremely explosive situation into, it, it ended up being almost park-like. Now I had to maintain the integrity of this center area. It was a, a seasonal creek that comes through here. Uh, it was a heavy machine to push around. So when it was all said and done, uh, the clients were extremely happy and uh, it looks, <laughs> looks almost like they put, should put in a driving range down here now. But the transformation really was um, extremely gratifying and, and I felt very good about this job.